You've got thousands of people who are walking away from the Democratic Party saying, this is the reason why. If the Democratic Party and the people on the left had a single functioning brain cell in their head, what I've done here basically for them is done all the work of creating a focus group for them. I mean, if any of them simply went to the page and watched the video testimonials of the people telling them exactly where the Democratic Party has gone wrong, I mean, this could actually be an incredibly useful tool for the Democratic Party. But are they going to take this opportunity? Are they going to use it? No, they're gonna close their eyes and close their ears and say, this isn't happening, this isn't happening. Well, it is happening, it's still happening. It's going to continue to happen until you change your party. Hi, my name is Brandon Strock and I'm the founder of the Hashtag Walk Away Campaign. After Donald Trump was elected, I was devastated. I voted for Hillary and I was one of those people who was going on social media crying, you know, making videos. I was on Facebook. It caused a traumatic response in me that had me shaken to my core. I grew up in a small town in Nebraska, so I knew a lot of the people that I grew up with had voted for Donald Trump. And I was really on a quest to try to understand why did they vote for this man who was a racist, who was a bigot. And after I sort of ranted about this, somebody who's known me my whole life, and she herself is a lifelong conservative, came to me privately in the most delicate way and sort of sent me this link to a YouTube video. And the video was entitled, Debunking that Trump Mocked the Disabled Reporter. Now, I saw this, just the title of the video, and I, you know, I almost still sort of had that liberal rage inside of me that sort of thought, I can't wait to watch this and then tell her how stupid she is for being brainwashed, you know, by this, this idiocy. And um, what happened next was that I watched the video and it was a compilation of footage uh, going back probably more than 10 years of Donald Trump doing that exact same voice and that exact same gesture numerous times in numerous circumstances when he was imitating somebody who'd been caught in a lie. Uh, I don't know what I said, uh, I don't remember. And it became clear to me that he didn't mock that man's disability whatsoever. Yes, the man was disabled, but what he was really doing was making fun of the fact that this person who happened to be disabled was caught in a lie. You know, it, it blew my mind. I even found a uh, footage where there were groups of black people who went to Trump's rallies to support him. And when the media got there, they actually framed up the shot to cut the black people out so that it appeared that there were only white people there. So. Once I found this out, I started to see that I had been incredibly, you know, unkind and judgmental towards all of these people in the country who I thought were horrible people because the media had made me believe, you know, that these people were terrible people when in, in fact it wasn't true. I started reaching out to friends and I started reaching out to, you know, liberal family or even just people that I live with in New York City. So I started trying to, you know, say to people, you know, what do you think about this? Have you read this? Have you seen this? Well, what I got in response were people being incredibly hostile and, you know, treating me with a lot of contempt for even simply asking questions. It was almost as if they were saying, you know, why are you showing me this thing that's making it harder for me to hate him? People were starting to uh, disengage with me. They were starting to cut me off in, in real life. They were starting to cut me off on social media. There were all of these different things that people were saying about me in order to be able to justify that I, you know, had sort of walked away from the camp and that I walked away from the group think. You know, I became a liberal because I am against racism. I'm against, you know, judging people based off of their sexual orientation or their gender. But what I started to see happening more and more all the time were these very same behaviors sort of in the reverse of what is, you know, stereotypical. I don't think that being hostile towards heterosexual people helps gay people. I don't think that being hostile towards men empowers women. I don't think that, uh, you know, being hostile towards white people empowers black people. I don't think that they realize that they embrace hate. However, they've allowed themselves to feel entitled to this behavior because they think that they themselves are doing something virtuous. The left practices tolerance and practices diversity in the most superficial ways only. They do not practice uh, tolerance or diversity whatsoever when it comes to, you know, individual thought or personal beliefs. You know, if you express an opinion that's outside of what is their ideology, 
There is no tolerance and there is no diversity. Why do I have to subscribe to a dogma or an ideology that's spoon fed to me by the left if I'm an empowered you know, individual and gay man? So I had really reached my boiling point by the beginning of 2018. I thought I'm going to sit down and write what I call the definitive manifesto of everything that's wrong with liberalism, everything that's wrong with the Democratic Party, and I'm going to shoot a video and I'm going to put it out there. I sat down and I wrote a script and in the script I ended it by saying, so I'm walking away from the Democratic Party and liberalism and I encourage all of you to do the same, walk away. Maybe if I open this up and said, maybe there's, maybe other people will draw courage from seeing that I've created this video and maybe they'll be willing to speak out too. And I thought maybe what I could do is create a video campaign, a testimonial campaign where other people can create their own videos and tell their own stories, whether it be people on the left who are fed up with, you know, toxic liberal ideology and, and what the Democrats are up to and who are ready to walk away. And also for people on the right who are sick to death of, you know, being called racists and bigots. Maybe it's time for the silent majority to become unsilent and to tell their stories. Sit down in front of their cameras and say, look, this is what it really means to be a conservative. These are what my core values really are. And by the way, not only am I not a racist, not only am I not a bigot, but I actually, we would love to have black people over here on the right with us. We would love to have gay people over here on the right with us. We are an open and inclusive Republican party or conservative movement. This is what we want. And when I released the video on Facebook, I created a group page, which is called the hashtag walk away campaign group page. And that's where I launched the testimonial campaign. And at this point now we have thousands of testimonials from people on both sides telling their story. I wanted to make a quick video explaining why I walked away. Uh, today I'm gonna share with you my walk, walk away story. We have left the democratic plantation. We are off the plantation, hashtag walk away. I had to walk away from the democratic party. The majority of the stories that have come out on the left-wing media uh, saying that it's Russian propaganda, saying that it's paid actors. Now, of course, they always had the option to simply go to the hashtag walkaway campaign page on Facebook, look at the real video testimonials of real people. There are thousands of them on there telling their stories, and uh, but they chose not to do that. Uh, no one ever reached out to me for a comment. No one ever reached out to me to ask my perspective as the founder of the campaign. So within the last uh, few months, the hashtag walkaway campaign has continued to grow and grow. There are a lot of really high profile people who are very enthusiastic about what we're doing. As walkaway grows, uh, we're going to need the help of all of those people and the involvement and the support of, of as many people as possible. So within the last, uh, I want to assemble a really dynamic, incredible team of walkaway speakers, uh, people who have really amazing stories and let's get people out on the road. Let's get them in college campuses. You know, the current university educational system, it's so liberally biased. And I'm getting stories all the time from, from heartbroken parents who are writing to me and saying, I don't recognize my kid anymore. And uh, you know, the socialism lies and the communism lies, all of these things that, you know, kids are being taught now in universities, they need to hear an alternative perspective. But one thing I'm incredibly optimistic about is that the hashtag walkaway campaign has really created an atmosphere and a space where people of varied beliefs are coming together and engaging in civil discourse and engaging in conversation that's respectful and it's polite and you know treating each other with dignity the the walk away campaign is not an ultimate destination it's not a belief system and people have sort of remembered what it means to be an american and to celebrate that we have diverse opinions and that we can engage in these different opinions and debates in a way that we respect one another as that type of behavior and that atmosphere continues to grow and grow and it is our group is growing every single day I think people are going to be left with two different options that they can look at. They can say, do I want to be in this type of environment where we don't all have to agree, but we do all have to respect each other and treat each other with dignity? Or do I want to be in this other group uh, where people are spitting on each other, throwing drinks in each other's face, punching each other, screaming at each other, calling each other names, uh, cutting off their parents, cutting off their friends? Which one is more attractive to you? Which, you know, what's your choice? What group do you want to be in?